in, please. <laughs> uh, Dr. Sanders, uh, I just want to thank you for all of your help on this project. I mean, your footage alone, the, the, the details about the Waverly Butcher, it's, it's really powerful. It's so. my pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> Sorry, the room's so messy. I, I didn't know that I was going to be hosting a best-selling author today. Well, I apologize about the unexpected arrival. I was meeting an old colleague of mine. Thought I'd drop by, see the young man that's been picking my brain in the flesh. Young Werner Herzog himself. Oh, thank you. Actually, I prefer Errol Morris, but uh, I, whatever. I'm, I'm just editing the last bits of the documentary, but what I really need is a couple of closing statements and uh, well, I was wondering if maybe you'd like to say a couple words to the camera. Well, uh, if you're gonna put me on the spot. <laughs> uh, I would say this. The Waverly Butcher's legend of terror can only be told one way. He spread a unique brand of carnage across this entire county for eight years sending everyone into a panic when the sun went down. And although the sides at work seem difficult to understand on their own, what ends up when they're comprised is completely simple. You see, Urso may refer to himself as more than man. And perhaps that level of egotism is what helped him thrive for so long. But alas, he contradicted himself when he gave in to the police, he proved he was just a man. Man is born with a conscience. You can only go for so long before the mortal instincts kick in, practically having you begging to get caught, whether subconsciously or not. However, I assure you, it is all in the past. Rest comfortably. Wow, that, that was fantastic. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Sanders. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, I'm definitely going to use this in the documentary. Right, wonderful. That's quite a bit of hardware you've got, Mr. Olson. Oh, HP? Yeah, Z1, G2. Uh, editing powerhouse, 4K <laughs> res, baby. Got to keep up. Of course. Andrew, hmm? do you know about this? About what? That's not mine. Thank you, Dr. Sanders, for all of your help. Uh, I will definitely let you know when I have the final cut of the documentary. Sure, it was my pleasure.